Hello guys, uh, namaste, Perev, Ndiyepi, San, Bu, Nani, Khuye Mor, Khuye Nan, Ni Hao, Bonjoa. Uh, anyway, guys, this is Bonge from HAPV. What I have right there, I have a Dell, a laptop, which is a which doesn't have the screen. It's turning on, but there's nothing on the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead. I did insert the RAM. There was no RAM on this machine. As you can see, I plugged in the charger and then I pressed the power button. Okay, I didn't press the power button now. But okay, let's go ahead. I press the power button. The fan is spinning. As you can see, it's right there on the left hand side. But obvious, there's nothing. There's no display. All right, so on this machine, let me just give you a summary. Eh? It was sitting on fan spinning, but it was beeping. Uh, it was beeping one way. Obvious with no display, but how do I know that you don't have any display? There are two ways that you can see. First thing first, you can connect an external display. Secondly, okay, there we go. I think there I was typing, I was searching for the number of beeps. And then let's see, I'll be able to tell guys, can't really remember. Yeah, bo, the number of beeps, Dell beep codes, and it was giving me eight beeps. Eight beeps, it means LCD failure. And the other one was the BIOS. Yeah, LCD eight beeps, it means there. Um, LCD failure, meaning it wasn't detecting the LCD at all. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh yes, there was no LCD guys, which is normal. And there was nothing wrong with that because there was no LCD. So I did connect the keyboard. <laughs> Let's see. Can't really tell what exactly I was doing. Oh, there we go. I connected the, the external display. You know the external display, the HDMI. And then there we go on the HDMI which is the external monitor, it was just blank. As you can see, I wasn't getting anything on the display. Oh, then what is wrong with this machine? Okay, guys, as always, you have to think, as a technician, you have to think. Again, I forced it on the external display and it was blank with no display, nothing showing. Again, guys, and then okay, again, guys, let me show you something. Eh? Some machines, they will require you to force the external display. What do I mean by that? You can normally, you hold uh, F4. If not, you hold function key and then F4. There, but there will be a sign on the keyboard which is telling you that to force it on the external display, you have to press this key. It can be F4, F5, F8, F6. But in most cases, it's always F4. But some other machines, they use different function here but here ah, you can see guys there was nothing on the display anyway don't panic guys you know i will just take you step by step step by step step by step step by step no need to panic guys i'm here for you the blank screen don't panic we're not getting anything it's okay oh wait i saw something i'm sure you saw something but yeah, we will fix this problem. Don't worry, guys. I will guide you step by step. All right. Still, nothing on the external. Nothing on the external. Nothing on the external uh, display. Okay, you saw that again. It's flashed once with some words very quick but yeah i don't like that it means here there's a possibility that we have a corrupted bios and we're gonna fix this and i'm gonna guide you show you how to flash a corrupted bios uh all the steps and how to get the files but again here i didn't really show you how to get the files because i have all the files on my machine i, I got like i could like uh, almost like 500 gig of storage filled with what with only bios i know you, you won't believe even i myself i can't believe it i have like plenty bios files from desktops laptops 
from uh, TVs, guys, I got plenty. When I say plenty, plenty. So we can turn this into an into a what into a screenless <laughs> JPV. We are well known for doing a screenless. So I was putting all the screws together. I don't know why, but because the machine is not really working. But I guess I have a solution. And we're going to try another method. There's another method that we're going to try. We're going to try step by step. Okay. There we go. I, I like when I, I'm, I'm like pushing very fast. Like, you know, and everything like, okay. Anyway, I think it's enough. Of, let's see. Let's see. What exactly I was doing right there. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so that's a, a, a an SSD, ne? Okay, it did the same thing, flashed once, and then there was nothing. So I normally connect an an, an SSD. An SSD sometimes with an operating system is gonna force it to display. Ne? Yeah, boy. Again, I was removing all the screws. I don't know exactly what I was doing, guys. I made a flop. This was a flop of the flop test. But again, I did what I did. So right there is the board number. Ne? I'll show you the board number. It's the board number. The board number you need it. You need it. There we go. It's V A W. You need it to download the BIOS. That's the board number. That's exactly the board number. That's right there. V A W 00 L A 9104P. Revision 1. That's a board number, mother board number. You need that number to be able to download and um, and have the BIOS uh, files for this machine. You need a board number. Nothing much. Nothing else. Sorry, my guys. Anyway, um, I'm happy to be back. I'm always happy to be back. I'm grateful to be quite honest with you guys. I'm very happy to be back. And as promised, I'll release more and more videos. I know. Okay, there we go. Can you see? Because I have like all kinds of, of BIOS files. Those are all the BIOS files. I have like a big folder, guys. Like you see, I took one which is 100% working. We need to confirm the port number, confirm the revision as well. And then there we go. And I'll be showing you how to flash. First thing first, you need a BIOS programmer. I'm using that USB one. I have another one, a good one, but I prefer this one. Simple, and it's just straight forward. No complication. And right there is the BIOS chip, which is the wind bond. <laughs> that one, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, I'll show you everything. Yeah, that I see right there is the BIOS chip. No, I don't think that's a win point. But yeah, we're gonna see it together. Because normally before you flash it, you have to detect the IC. It's need to read and tell you what, what kind of an IC have you connected on the BIOS program. So I'll be showing you everything step by step. And there was no need for me to remove the BIOS chip under the microscope because you won't be able to see how I did it perfectly fine. Because the BIOS chip is so big, it's so large, there was no need for what? For a microscope. Hence why I didn't use any microscope or show you under the microscope when I was removing what the power chip because it was very simple and you can see I know you can see it was clear and then straightforward and that then I see the power chip and then I have to reconnect it I mean connect it on the BIOS so, so that it's on the BIOS uh, programmer at the back as you can see it was just straightforward there were no issues no complication and I like it that way. Okay, what I have right there, that blue thing there, it's a USB extender. That's where I'll be connecting the BIOS programmer. That USB extender is connected on my PC, obvious, because my PC is far away from me. So I use that USB extender, and there we go. The BIOS is connected right there, perfectly fine with no issues. There we go. Connected. believe today 
you'll be able to see how to flash so there's an application that i use is called the neo program we need to look for that application it's 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 called the neo program guys and then you press detect first thing first you press detect it's need to detect there we go and then you choose your ic you saw how simple it was detect and then you choose your ic from there you can read the ic because you need to do a backup in my case there was no need i'll tell you later why there was no need for me to do a backup i went straight to erase after reading and doing a backup then you can press erase so here guys i'll be teaching you how to program the bios you open the file the new file the new file in my case is simple i told you i have all the files and i think i saved it on music and there we go there in Sparon, wara 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 I, I saved two so i'll take one so in a case where you get three bin files you need to check the size that's a 2 mp that one is 4 mp and the other one is it's a kp the one which is kp is for the ec i don't need that one i need the 4 mp because there on the size it says 4000 4000 is 10 for what for 4 mp so i choose the correct one you need to choose the right size for the right uh chip if you chose the wrong one it's won't go through it's gonna tell you that you selected the wrong size and then i have to verify i prefer to verify the states because right now, I, like, I don't waste my time and then think the thing has been done correctly honest to find that there was a mistake writing the file so you saw what it did read write i mean uh detect read erase write and then verify it's simple just like that i verified and it says it went through perfectly fine guys like you, you won't tell me the other way around that you are, you don't know how to program the BIOS. You saw it was straightforward. You can save this video. Anyway, I don't care whether you don't learn any lesson here, but as long as you know how to program the BIOS, that's all. In fact, I'm going to rename this and say how to program the BIOS. It's just straightforward, simple, just like that. How to program what? How to program the BIOS chip. Alright, and you have to wait for the IC to cool down a little bit. And this boy got two. It's got two. It's got two. It's got two BIOS. So you have to be careful. Uh, okay. So the, the other one was the, the other one was the, on the other side of the board. And trust me, it was so simple because I didn't have to remove the board. I was able to access it simply without burning anything. You have to be careful when doing this, guys, because you're going to end up burning the board. I'm the only one who can, not only one, but some people can do it as well. But since if you are an amateur, guys, don't try this. You're going to burn the plastic and the customer is going to be very upset with you. So I normally do this when I'm lazy without burning anything. It's simple and straightforward, but you need to control what control your heat it's simple it's possible very simple guys so I, I reconnected this one the second one you will see detect there we go select the ic and then erase the ic but you don't do this i let me repeat again you don't just erase you detect you read you do a backup and then you erase my case i have my reasons why i'm not doing that so it's done erasing so you have to select the file check the size it needs to be 2 mp because there on the size on the thing itself it says 2000 so 2000 is 2 mp and it's done now it's verifying it needs to verify it's done verifying Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Okay, it's done. I've removed the IC from the bus programmer. Now let's put it on the board. It's also simple to put it on the board. You need to check the alignment. It's very, very important. Uh, where pin one is pin, pin one to, al to, to, to align with pin one on the board. Keep in mind, do not bend that plastic. Do not bend that plastic, guys. Do not bend that plastic. Do not bend that plastic. OK, 
okay i think i should be done there guys yo 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 my head my head just came over guys but again there's nothing to say there either way stun 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 so you have to wait for the pod to cool down and then i like to listen to music while the pod is cooling down i prefer to listen to music anyway i was done now we have to put back everything now we have to verify whether what we did did help or not but either way there's one thing i'm happy with guys now you know how to program the bios chip and keep in mind if you don't have any okay that's in my external display there is the display capture to usb display capture to hdmi because i can't show you on the thing i have to show you if it does display you, you need to see the display and i'm using the tiny device between the usb the usb and the hdmi you, you need to wait for the port to cool down so i'm waiting for the port to cool down and then i'm gonna connect what i'm gonna connect the charger and then there we go all right let me say this again let me let's let's say you don't have files about files just like me what do you do it's simple there are plenty of platforms where you can get them for free of charge number one tell that they do provide the bios on their official websites for any machine for free of charge you can just say tell inspiron uh 3521 wara bios bios and then they're gonna it's gonna take you to their official website where you'll get the bios bin file but again it's gonna be um it's gonna be on the package so you have to extract it it's simple but it's simple guys there we go we are waiting for a display and then i believe we're gonna get a display anyway guys let me run away let me run away let me run away i love you so much i'll always love you and if you do get some weights display here take care guys i love you with all my heart bye bye